Giant snake. Oh my god. Do worry. I have the spinner bait. Don't cast. Don't cast. Let me see if he'll eat this. Oh, it's a carp. Damn it. No, that's a snake. Oh, yeah, that's a carp. Yeah, probably. All right, I'm about to do something I've never done before. All right, we'll see if I can grab it. Oh. Dude, I got it. Oh my God, no, he's getting away. I got it! Oh my god, it's huge! Oh my god! Dude, I got it! Dude, look how big this thing is! That was insane! Oh my god! <laughs> that was insane! Dude, this thing is huge! What the heck? Oh my gosh! That was insane! I can't believe I just did that. That was crazy. That's huge, man. Yeah, I did not think it was that big. Its head was like all the way down a hole. And then I was like pulling and it, dude, it got stuck. And then I kept pulling and pulling. And then it finally came out. That's insane. Oh, that's huge. Guys, first time hand fishing, hand catching a pleco. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. These things are crazy. Oh my gosh, there's another one. I'm gonna get another one. This one looks even bigger. All right, watch this. Oh my god, I got two! <laughs> this thing is even bigger. Those are my first two times ever catching a pleco. You see Monster Mike do this all the time. Alright guys, just got this weird looking thing. This is actually a pleco. And they just like suck up algae on the bottom, right? Mm hmm They are some really weird looking fish. I don't know much about these, but they look crazy. And they just sit on the bottom here in these Florida ponds. And I've never caught one before, but I've seen people just grab their tail and just like hand fish them out of the water. It's insane. And yeah, that was my first time and I actually got two. Boom. That is insane. They're, they have spikes too, so it was so scary reaching down there. But these things are crazy. Let's get a release. All right guys, two freaking plecos. See you bud. Oh, he was ready. All right, next one. Boom. Welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida. So today, it is crazy hot right now. Um, I threw the spinner bait for a couple minutes already. I can already tell they want nothing to do with it So I'm gonna switch to Senko just drag it along the bottom and hopefully I can get a fish But yeah, I'm with Jack go check out his channel. It is Giuliano's Florida fishing I'll leave it in the description, but we might do a little bit of a Senko challenge See who can catch the biggest fish or most fish on a Senko. We'll just see we'll go with whatever happens But yeah, let's just get to fishing. I already caught I already caught two plecos, which is insane my first time ever doing that, I just grabbed them with my hand. It was crazy. But yeah. Got one. Got and, one. and Jack just got one behind me. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's on a rock. Is that a good one? No. He's small, but he's on a rock. He might have choked it. I don't know. I ain't really hard. Dude, nice. There we go. Look at that. Guys, give mm. sub Giuliano's Florida fishing. <laughs> yeah, guys, that was really cool. 
Uh, yeah. That's a pretty good signal that I should probably get to fishing and switch to that Senko. Got the intro out of the way, got the plecos out of the way. Let's catch some bass now. There's one. There's one. Yes, I got one. Guys, first bass of the day for me. Do not get off. Yes. Guys, first bass of the day for me. Solid little guy. It's been a while. Like, I've been getting bites, missing a few, snapped off ones. You had one? Dang. It's been tough, but finally got one on the Senko. And there he goes. There's one. Yes, another fish, guys. Boom, second bass of the day. Sorry for the wind noise. I don't know if there is any wind noise, but it is kind of windy. I do have a windscreen on my GoPro, though. Oh, there he goes. All right, guys, just switched to a black and blue jig. We'll see if this works. I snapped off whatever I was using. I'm hoping for a big bite. The bite's been pretty slow, so maybe I can just get one big one and I'll be happy with that. There's one, yes, on the jig. That's not a bad fish at all. Yeah, that's a nice one. Guys, there we go. Took long enough, got a nice one on the jig. He smoked that. Nice one. See you, bud. There's one. Oh my god, I just fell over. Alright. Oh my god, it's a nice one too. <laughs> Did I set and then slipped on the grass? That's a nice fish. No, no. No. You have got to be kidding me. If you didn't fall, I think you would have got it. Dang it. So I somehow snapped off again. Now I switched to this Excite Baits crankbait. Got this in an MTB box. And yeah. There's one. Yes, I got one. On the crankbait guys, let's go. Guys, probably my second or third cast with the crankbait and got another bass. It's been a struggle, it's been a tough day. But finally, I might have found a pattern. Little guy, but I'll take it. See you, bud. There's one. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Boom, guys, another bass on the crankbait. I was trying something different. I was just dragging it, pausing it, dragging and pausing it, and he crushed it. That's a salt fish. See you, bud.
Oh, that was cool. Beautiful little Mayan cichlid on the crankbait. And there he goes. That's so vast. This is a tiny guy. See, bud. Oh, that was sick. That was so cool. Another solid one on the crankbait. Alright guys, last cast of the day. It's getting pretty dark. So, I better make it home. Oh, there's one. That was, oh my gosh. I had one on the last cast. Okay, one more cast. There you go. Yes, I got one. Oh, I got a mine. Dang it. Oh, okay. There, there he goes. Yeah, there he goes. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for the video. It was a pretty tough day. I didn't get too many fish, but I managed to salvage the day with a last minute crankbait bite. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fishing Forest.